from Nugget Shooter Journals. Um, doing something a little different today. And we're in my old office here. You can see all my stuff behind me here. And I uh, moved over to the shop now, the store. And that's where my new office is, where my office was before the virus, which moved my office over here. So now the office is over there. And we have in here something brand new and exciting for me is a freeze dryer. And this is a Harvest Strike freeze dryer. It's running right now. Um, I just got it. And I'm doing the break in on it right now, which is kind of like breaking in a car or anything else. Or got some bread, sliced bread in there. And we're going to freeze dry that bread and get the machine uh, ready for some berries I'm going to do this afternoon, which I will show you. And you can see right now, it's, you should be able to see that, it's freezing, and we're at zero degrees right now. And it takes about a half hour to get to about 40 below. And then the uh, vacuum pump over here will kick in, and that will suck all the moisture out of the chamber and freeze dry this stuff. Okay, why would I want a freeze dryer? Well, I uh, use a lot of these mountain meals, different types of meals that you can buy. And uh, the cloth has just gone insane on food, and especially on freeze dried foods. And one of the, these wasn't in my budget until prices started going up and the world started getting a little bit weird. And I figured it's just a good idea to have some freeze dried foods around. I mean, when you freeze dry, uh, meat or vegetables or anything else it retains probably 90 percent or 99 percent of its nutrition and the texture stays the same when you rehydrate it tastes the same and it's just an amazing process so right now we're like i said i'm getting this thing broke in and i'm gonna start freeze drying some stuff and putting it away for a rainy day so to speak um, i don't know if you're backpacking or out hiking or prospecting or whatever you're doing it's a lot lighter to carry a, a pouch of a mylar pouch with a freeze-dried meal in it than a can of Chef Boy RD. Don't you know? So anyway, I just wanted to introduce you to the Harvest Right freeze dryer. Dryer, and we're down to minus one degree now. And this is a vacuum pump here. There's really not much else to it. Keep oil in it. Keep oil up to the level right there. You can see. And the machine works very well. I uh, did a lot of research before actually purchasing one of these. And I think it's going to be one of my better investments in life. And I use a lot of freeze-dried meals, like I said, so just having a way to make them myself is better. So I'll tell you something. It's like anything else. You make the stuff at home, you freeze-dry it yourself, it's going to taste a lot better than if you store-bought the stuff. It's not made in bulk, and it tastes great. So. I'll see you in a little bit when we uh, get this bread done and then I'm going to put together some uh, berries. Okay, we kicked into the vacuum cycle here. The, uh, you can see the, the pump's running, you can see the oil moving. The vacuum pumps are running and we are at... Uh, we're at 16 and 17 below zero. And we got condensation on the outside, so you really can't see in there too well. But that bread froze solid and being dried at minus 16 degrees. It'll get colder than that as it goes along. And we're one hour and 41 minutes into the cycle. Well, as you know, we're in Arizona. So it's uh, about 81 degrees in here right now. And of course, the machine knows that. And it's told me processing may take a little longer because the room's warm, but it's not a problem. I'm not in that big hurry. So, anyway, just thought I'd show you that. Okay, so here we go. I just put together two trays of berries, raspberries and blackberries, and we got some pizza that we had last night, leftover pizza. And we got two trays of that going on. Okay, right. and we're going to put this in the freeze dryer. Pizza is supposed to come out real good, kind of like uh, you don't even rehydrate it, just eat it as a piece of chips. <laughs> good stuff. And the berries ought to be pretty good too. So we're going to load these in the freeze dryer. 
and we're gonna let her rip as you can see it's all loaded up you can see the reflection of the camera in there but yeah it's ready to go and it's going to be freezing everything up drying it and we're going to try it a little later probably a lot later but we'll try it i should add that i put the uh berries on parchment paper so they don't stick and uh like i said we'll be back after a while it takes quite a while for this to get done several hours or more so when it gets done we'll uh do a taste test all righty this is day two in the morning it's been about 24 hours this thing's just about done see the food looks just about like it did when i put it in a lot of ice in there oh yeah but uh we're in drying mode right now and it's just about done and i'll be back to show you what we got and do a little taste test here i was right freeze dryer all righty well, I forgot to shine the camera on this stuff after I took it right out. But anyway, here's the results. There's the raspberries. They came out perfect, nice and dry, delicious. And the pizza's in these bags. And heck, even Tammy liked the pizza. It's kind of like uh, crackers that taste like pizza and have the pizza stuff on them. Dip it in a little marinara sauce. No reason to rehydrate it. Just absolutely delicious. And... We're defrosting the critter now. And I think the next thing I'm going to do is try some meats. And I'll take you along for the ride because it's kind of fun. And food preservation is pretty important, especially these days. And I think it's going to be every bit as good as the uh, store-bought stuff, which I have quite a bit of on hand around the property. But being able to make your own, it always tastes better. Tammy's going to whip up some pretty cool meals. And uh, I'll take you along for the ride freeze-drying. I think it's pretty cool. Those are uh, just as good as you get out of the store and a whole lot cheaper. It only costs, so oh, it took this machine 19 hours, just over 19 hours to do this. And um, it only costs, electricity wise, it only costs a couple dollars. So can't go wrong. Considering if you buy a, one of those three gallon pails of dried meat, you're looking at 500 bucks. Um, Vegetables and fruits, pretty high price too. And it's just ridiculous these days what it costs. So we invested in one of these. And like I said, I'll take you along for the ride. It's pretty cool. And it's just strange that the food can be so dry and lightweight. And when you reconstitute it, it's just like it was before. Um, like I said, though, I've been eating freeze-dried meals for a long time, so I know how that works. And they are really good. But it's better when you do it yourself. For now, my friends, happy with the new freeze dryer. I should add on here, too, that the uh, blackberries didn't work. They were too high in sugar and moisture, and they kind of blew up a little bit. got weird. I mean, I saved them for smoothies and stuff, but they're not what you would want. And the reason for that is, is the high sugar content and the high moisture content, and they're all in those little bitty berry nodules on their little cells. And without poking a hole in them, it's hard for a freeze dryer to pull the moisture out of there properly. And that was a problem there. So, blackberries are a no on my list. And that's one of the reasons it took so long this time. Because of the berries in there. If it was just been pizza or some meat and a pizza, it probably would have taken 14, 15 hours. So, still, I'm real happy with my investment. And, uh, again, like, subscribe, ring the bell. Next year out.